Genshin Impact Hunger Games, it is its own thing. This is not Hunger Games now. This is the Celestial Games with teams of four, and it's the Orc on War. Team number one is Ether, Paimon, Lumine, and Dainsleaf. The two travelers with their companions. Team number two is Dilute, Kaya, Jean, and Klee. Team number three is Eula, Amber, Albedo, and Sucrose. Team number four is Bennett, Zhang Ling, Sing Shou, and Fischl. Team number five is Hu Tao, Zhongli, Zhao, and Ganyu. Team number six, Captain Beto, Kadahara Kazuha, Venti, and Chi Chi. Oh, why Chi Chi in that one? I don't know. Team number seven is Arataki Ito, Nubido Uno, baby, Kuki Shinobu, Yalan, and Yan Fei. Team number eight is the Raiden Shogun, Yaibiko, Kujo Sora, and Shikano in Hazel. Team number nine is Kamisato Ayaka, Toma, Sangonobi Akokobi, and Goro. Team number 10 is Alhaitan Kave, Nahida Wanderer, base team. Number 11 is Saido Tignari Kole Dea. And the final number is the Doctor, Random Aranara, I guess, La Signora, and Tartaglia. Holy shit, dude, this is gonna be sick. Celestial Games faced with heavenly principles. Celestia decides to play a game to see who will win the next seat among them. All teams are summoned and forced to wait at a summoning ring for the heavenly principles to signal the start of the war. Wait, are we getting law for this one, dude? <laughs> Goro grabs a three-star weapon from the center of the summoning ring. Toma rushes towards the drinks. Dottore and Bennett have a competition over who can hoard the most primo gems. <laughs> Dave picks up a wind barrier potion. Paimon gives a thumb up to Eula and chucks a bag of Mora at the back of Kaveh's head. Kaveh mistakenly starts fighting Eula. <laughs> Klee tries to challenge the Heavenly Principles, but Dea steps in and stops her. <laughs> Dude, oh my god, this is fantastic. Albedo finds a four-star weapon in the summoning ring along with other basic supplies. Zhang Ling runs away. Ito dodges a would-be fatal attack from Yai before running away. Hat Guy gets caught in the middle of an all-out brawl between Sucrose, Arari Khan, and Hazel. <laughs> Where are they fighting? Lumine finds a genius invocation TCG deck at the center of the summoning ring, and Sing Shou finds a dustproof potion. Zhongli and Ganyu start fighting for no apparent reason. After a short battle, Zhongli gives up and leaves. <laughs> I mean, hey, can you do be kind of OP, dude? Child unleashes his burst accidentally leading to the death of Sido, Amber, and Nahida. Child, you ulted prematurely. Oh my god, you just took out three of the best cast. Yeah, yeah at least he finally crit for once. Ayaka finds a crown of insight. Kole runs away. Fischl runs away. Hutao fights Tignari for a vintage bottle of dandelion wine. Hutao wins and Tignari leaves muttering something about vengeance. Vengeance will be mine. Kazuha kills Xiao in a fight over Primo Gems. The animal boys are rebelling against each other for once. You love to see it, dude. You love to see it. In both of the Hunger Games, actually, Kazuha. Kazuha's kills Zhao, I think. Kuki picks up a wind barrier potion. A becomes unsettled when she finds Jean staring at her. This feels like it should be the other way. D d bro, how many characters are at the bottom of this? Sara, Chi Chi, Ether, Beidou, and Signora fight over who gets the five star weapon, only for Kaya to walk off with it unnoticed. <laughs> it's canon. It's, I, I don't care what anyone says, dude. This shit's canon. I don't give a fuck. Kaya, you slick, slick man. I would smash, by the way, just, just putting that out there. YouTube comments. I'm just putting that out there. Yeah, I would. I'd, I'd Kaya. Oh my god, another huge list of people with Daluk at the end. Please be based. Yanfei, Venti, Kokomi, Yalan, and Alhaitham and Daluk fight over Primo gems in the summoning ring. Kokomi and Yalan are injured. Kokomi can just heal herself. And Yalan has more HP because Kokomi's there, so, you know. Hydro resonance and all that. I'm sure they'll be fine. Day one. Chi Chi is trying to be nice, but Fischl is really testing her patience. <laughs> Ganyu tries to lead Yanfei to an ambush by leaving a trail of Primo gems. Yanfei notices the trap and leaves. Dane finds a rare holographic TCG card of Kuki. Dude, Ito would love that. Albedo, Alhaitham, Child, and Hutao discuss strategies in Endgame. This would be a wild team, dude. Holy god. Wait, this would actually be a sick team. Get the EM up with Albedo as well. Get the Blooms Burgeon? Burgeon team? <laughs> What end game? This is the true end game. Sara, Paimon, Signora, and Sucro spend the day farming talent materials. That's gonna be dangerous. What are Paimon's talents apart from eating? Goro tries to bribe Zhang Ling into killing Yai for some primo gems. Zhang Ling agrees and wants to kill Yai. It's kind of he's too much of a pussy to do it himself, dude. <laughs> Who's gonna pet your little fluffy ears now, idiot? I'm so happy we do this, dude. These are so funny, chat. These are so funny. Gene sees a little silhouette of a man. <laughs> Scaraboosh! 
Oh, shit. Kazuha follows Asili until he realizes it's a part of a complicated puzzle. He leaves mumbling something about a common chest. <laughs> That's me, dude. It's probably just a common chest anyway. Who cares? I don't need, I don't need the primos. Hazel spends all his resin trying to get the perfect artifact. He is unsuccessful. That's literally everybody in chat. Klee walks around aimlessly and ends up crossing paths with Eula and Dea. The group decides to travel together and hunt for supplies. Pretty good team. Beidou miscalculates her iframes and is slain by a Magu Kenki. <laughs> oh, no. Datore gets Zhongli's theme stuck in his head. <laughs> Yo, I like this Dottori. This Dottori is cool. Kokomi gets Kaveh's theme stuck in the head. I like this Kokomi, dude. Kaveh's theme's also kind of a bot. Lumine severely injures Ayaka in a fight over 20 primos that leaves her to die. <laughs> 20 primos? Jesus Christ. Holly rips up a rare paper charm, causing an explosion that injures Arorikan and Yelan. Koi! Ether kills Bennett for his primo gems. Honestly, I mean, <laughs> listen, no disrespect, but like, if you're going to get rid of anyone, get rid of the unlucky dude, right? Like, because they could they could cause issues for everybody. Hat guy spends all day fishing for the catch. Kayak skips A's dialogue based. Tignari tries to run from Singsho, but trips. Singsho laughs at Tignari before killing him. <laughs> Sing show one evil motherfucker in this, dude. Holy shit. Dilute sings Misery, Toma sings CPR, and Ito sings Reese's Puffs. <laughs> what is that? Wait, it's canon. That's, that's so fucked up. Venti sees a little silhouette of a man. Wait, didn't Venti get fucking kablammed? Nine constellations fade from the sky. Sino, Amber, Nahida, Zhao, Yai, Beidou, Ayaka, Bennett, and Tignari all dead. Dude, I think Team 12's got a good a good chance here. Holy shit. Night number one. A pushes Dottori in front of a brewing golem's beam cannon, killing him. Okay, Team 12's fucked. Hu Tao laments over the fact that so much lore is e event exclusive. <laughs> Ganyu huddles near a warming Celia in Dragon Spine. Oh, that's cute. Kaya falls asleep peacefully when Chi Chi hums a lullaby. Hazel tries to find his constellation in the night sky. Kole severely injures Zhang Ling in a fight over 20 primos. Kole unleashes a burst to make sure Zhang Ling dies. She fucking self burgeoned her. Lumim reads a guide to Ballad before going to sleep. Fischl receives a mysterious package from Karara. It's 60 Genesis crystals. Ararikan dreams of crushing Goro with a jade chamber. <laughs> Holy dude. Yula receives a delivery from Karara. It's a new outfit. Yo, new character gets a new outfit based. Albedo reads a guide to elegance before going to sleep. Klee and Sara hold hands. <gasps> this happened in the first ever Hunger Games we did, and it did not end well because I'm 99% certain Kuja Sara threw a knife into Klee's chest and murdered her. Sucros lures the Primo G of Vishap to Kokomi and Sigshow's camp while they sleep. Kokomi and Sigshow are caught off guard and killed. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> What the hell? She learned from the best, dude. She learned from Klee. Kuki and Yolanda force into a game of genius invocation TCG where the loser must die. Kuki defeats Yolan. Dilute radiates a threatening aura, preventing anyone from attempting to steal from him. Zhongli gets injured after being struck by lightning. Hat guy reads a guide to Ballad before going to sleep. Oh yeah, Ballad, Balladia. I see what you did there. Canon. Dea is trapped by Toba and Dane who demand her primo gems. Dea fights back and manages to kill Toba before escaping. Okay, that's the one thing that's not canon here because that would not happen. Jin receives a mysterious package from Karara. It's character ascension mats. Venti moves to kill Child, but Alhaitham parries his attack, allowing Child time to escape. Venti is then slain by Alhaitham. Bro, let him do it, dude. Child ulted prematurely and murdered three people. And it was three good people, including Naida. Ito quietly hums his own theme to himself. Senora tends to Kazuha's wounds. What in the fucking rule 34 is this? Ether spends all night annoying Paimon. Base, dude, we're getting revenge. Kavi is blessed with the sweetest of dreams. Yanfei Radiates a threatening aura no one can steal from her. Day number two, we're on day two, chat. Kave, Kuki, and Arari can travel together for the day. Nice. Dea, Sucros, and Alhaitham sneak into the restricted section of Lisa's library. They're going to find out all the secret lore. Or they're going to trip on those stairs that are bugged and die. Kole tests her powers on Tibby's birds, based. Paimon tests her powers on Tibby's birds, based. Hat guy, Eula, and Hazel work together to farm specters. Child sees a little silhouette of a man. Chi Chi, Yanfei, Goro, and Albedo spend the day doing commissions together. Signora watches from a distance as Ganyu and A are chased around by a ruin hunter. <laughs> Lumine walks around aimlessly and ends up crossing paths with Hu Tao and Kazuha. Oh, that's cool, dude, because we all just, like, met each other in the latest event. Dude, it's canon. The group decides to travel and hunt for supplies. Dane makes a slingshot. Flea watches from a distance as a large group slaughters a Hillichol village for a precious chest. Oh, goodness sake, dude. That's insanity. Zhongli and Fischl try to take primos from Sara, but are both scared off by Sara's threatening aura. Honestly, canon. I could see that. She is the biggest A-simp as well. Seven constellations fade from the sky. 
Sky Chat, Datore, Zhang Ling, Kokomi, Sing Xiao, Yalan, Toma, and Venti. By the way, for the people watching on YouTube, I want you to leave me your predictions on who you think is going to win in the comments, and then comment under it with who did win and if you're surprised by it. Night number two. Hazel falls into the abyss, but luckily manages to find a way out. Hazel grows stronger because of this experience. Yo, he got the full Tartag experience, dude. Hot guy spears A with the catch, killing her. <gasps> Cannon revenge. Senora is blessed with the sweetest of dreams. Klee receives a delivery from Karara. It's a new outfit. Klee decides not to wear it. <laughs> Honestly, pretty based. You don't want to wear a new outfit and trip over or something, you know? Pretty good. Zhongli and Jean steal Primo Chen's from Paimon while she's sleeping. That's a terrible idea. They're dead the next day, chat. Lumine spends all night fishing for the catch. Ito tries to overwhelm and kill Child. Kyuki joins in and Child is slain? Yo! Actual cannon! Ito with Kuki slain Tartag? Actually base, dude. I didn't want Tartak to win this. I'm not gonna lie. I did not want it. Kazuha spends all night tracking down Goro and kills him. Kazuha can die as well. Next. I'm okay with that. Abarikan has a nightmare about Chi Chi killing him. <laughs> Kole gets injured after being struck by lightning. Oh god. Got the full Tignari experience. Yanfei reflects on the fact that she will never get Cinnabar Spindle before going to sleep. <laughs> she can't use it anyway. Dane, Ganyu, and Albedo raid Al Haytham's shelter in the middle of the night and beat the primos out of him. <laughs> Wait, if he dies there, that's the duo take it out, dude. Tartag and Alhaitham. Hutao is trying to be nice, but Kaya is really testing her patience. Dea spends all night annoying Kabe. Eula misreads a warning label as don't dead open inside and dies after splitting open a sea Galadurma. YouTube, let me know in the comments if you understand this reference. Dilute reflects on the fact that you will never get Cinnabar Spindle before going to sleep. I'm just never going to get Wolf's Gravestone, dude. Sara dreams of a world where everyone is happy. Ether is awoken by nightmares. Fishel miscalculated her iframes and is slain by a Magu Kenki. Sucrose receives a mysterious pack from Karara. It's 980 Genesis Crystals. Yo, holy shit, dude. Day number three. Kole narrowly escapes an ambush from Dilute, Ganyu, and Kujo Sara. And Dea tries and fails to pet a dog. <laughs> Kave, Senora, Kazuha, and Hazel spend the day farming talent materials. Dean injures himself while misusing his powers. You know, I'm gonna be honest here. You know, if I was a Genshin character, I'd probably do the same thing. Because, don't forget, chat, if I was a Genshin character, I would be a Hydro Claymore, and I'd be able to in my spin to win attack, I'd create a hydro tornado to pull things in. I'd end up doing that and drowning or something. I think that's how I'd die if I was in Genshin. After spending hours trying to make a shelter, Chi Chi gives up and naps under a tree. Yanfei receives a delusion from an unknown sponsor and decides not to use it. Holy shit, dude. You really went all out on making this. This is insane. Lumine tries to steal Ether's Primo gems. She is unsuccessful. Zhongli receives a delusion from an unknown sponsor. He decides to use it to overpower Kaya and kills them, but Zhongli also dies. Zhongli, you fucking stupid idiot, little bitch. Kuki, Albedo, and Sucrose pick mint and berries together. So wholesome. Hat guy relaxes in a patch of Naki weed. Yeah, I bet he does. Thunder and lightning. So fucking frightening. <laughs> It's just high as a kite, dude. Klee, Ararikad, and Alhaith and pick mint and berries together. Also cute. Jean follows Azealia till she realizes it's part of a complicated puzzle and mumbles about a common chest. Paimon also gets lost following Azealia. Azealia. Ito picks flowers for Hu Tao. I think Hu Tao would be into the himbo lifestyle. And I think she'd be even more into it because he's that dumb that of course he's going to end up dying soon of some stupid reason. So then even if it didn't work out, she'd have more custom. Seven constellations fade from the sky. A child, Goro, Eula, Feshel, Zhongli, and Kaya. Oh god, dude. Night numero three. Kave receives an ominous letter from a Fatui agent. Chi Chi, Ito, Albedo, and Hu Tao stay up late playing Genius Invocation TCG. Albedo wins. That's not surprising. Sara receives a delivery from Karara. It's a new outfit. Nice. Yanfei, Alhaitham, Dane, and Sucrose tell each other fairy tales to lighten the mood. Senora and Kazuha track down and kill Lumine. You bitches. Hat Guy tries to find his constellation in the night sky. Paimon tries to bury Jean alive, but is unsuccessful. Ganyu reads a guide to freedom before going to bed. Dea and Hazel use spirit bordial to relax before passing out. What is that? Are they getting high? Don't do drugs, kids. Ether severely injures Klee in a fight over 20 primos and leaves her to die. An unconscious Klee is rescued by Deluke. <laughs> Holy accurate, dude. I got okay, fuck team one, dude. I the Deluke Klee team... They have to take it over now. They have to. Dilute, you fucking legend. Ether, go fuck yourself. Ararikan gets trampled by a ruin guard while stuck in dialogue with Kali and Kuki. Day number four. Kave receives a mysterious package from Karara. It's 60 Genesis crystals. Albedo shoots an arrow at Sora but misses and kills Chi Chi instead. 
This is why you leave the shooting to Power Arrow users. Call a Sucrose and Kuki hunt for Sumeru local specialties. Ita throws Hutao into a pit of Hydro and Cryo Abyss Mages. Wait, that's okay for Hutao though. Did she die there? Probably. Dory puts up a new sign. Oh no, where is this going, dude? Dame misreads it as Sasa Lele and Ganyu laughs at him. Al Haitham does the math and everything is 100 off. The meme? This is a meme? Sasa Lele is a meme? Oh, sale, sale. <laughs> I don't know that meme. I've never seen it. That's funny though. Yanfei tries to lead Dilute to an ambush by leaving a trail of Primo gems. Dilute notices the trap and leaves. Base, dude. Don't let that Wolf's Grace don't get to you. You'll get it eventually, King. Ito tries to lead Hatguy to an ambush by leaving a trail of Primo gems. Ito's ambush is successful and Hatguy is slain. Holy shit, Wanderer. You could have just flown. Jean gets lost following a Sealy. Paimon, Klee, and Kazuha travel together for the day. Base. Hazel enjoys running around scaring Dea and Signora. <laughs> What? How could Hazel scare either of these two women, dude? What? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I mean, fair. Five constellations fade from the sky, chat. Lumine, Ararikan, Chi-Chi, Hu Tao, and Hot Guy. Hu Tao did die to the Cryo and Hydro, Hydro Abyss mages. <gasps> she got Perla frozen forever. Night number four of the Celestial Games. Kuki and Sucros steal Primo Gens from Dane while he's sleeping. I wouldn't dare, dude. He is a primo gem. Gene miscalculates the iframes and is slain by a Magu Kenki. God damn it, Gene. Those iframes, you're gonna get better. Kole moves to kill Ganyu, but Diluc parries her attack, allowing Ganyu time to escape. Kole is then slain by Diluc. Oh my God, it's just like the manga all over again, dude. Holy shit. Dea dreams of killing her enemies. She's gonna have to dream. She can't do it in real life. Kavi dreams of eating flying lavender melon. What? Kavi dreams of eating Paimon? Yanfei dies from sheer cold in Dragon Spine. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to kill the loot, dude. Ether dreams of dreaming. Paimon lures the Primo Geo Vish out to Albedo and Sara's camp while they're asleep and they're caught off guard and killed! Base for Kujo Sara, but you didn't have to do Albedo like that, dude! Hazel quietly hums his own theme to himself. Absolutely based, because Hazel's theme is by far one of my favorite themes in the entire game. If not my actual favorite theme. Senora and Kazuha huddle around a warming Sealy and Dragon Spine. Kazu, you're fucking weird in this one, dude. Maybe you just have a real big grudge against the Archons after the Roll Raiden situation and the deflected the Musa no Hitotachi, so that you're a Fatui? I don't know. Al Haitham sees a little silhouette of a man. Well, that guy's dead now, isn't he? Ito receives a delivery from Karara. It's a letter from Klee. It's a list of everything she hates about him. Oh, dude, I thought that was going to be wholesome. <laughs> God damn. That caught me off guard. <laughs> Oh shit, chat. Oh, this is bad. The heavens summoning. Celestia opens the heavens and overflows the ley lines. Players can use their primos to pull or explore the ley lines for memoirs from friends and family. Only fate knows what's awaiting them. Senora bashes Sucrose over the head with a fossilized bone shard, killing her. It makes a funny bonk noise. Kazuwa uses his powers to set off an explosive, killing off Ether and al -Haitha. Oh my god, Kazu. Paimon, Ganyu, Dilute, Kuki, Dane, and Kave fight to the death for a dosis? Dane emerges victorious? Dane just killed Kave, Kuki, Diluc, Ganyu, and Paimon? He just wiped out like three teams, I think, there. Not even kidding. Hazel decides to save his primos that doesn't go to the heaven summoning. Dea, Klee, and Ito get into a fight. Dea triumphantly kills them both. I am never playing that dog shit character ever again, dude. Dea, you're fucking benched permanently, you bitch. You just killed two of my all-time favorite characters. Go fuck yourself. I'm never playing her ever again. She's perma benched. Day number five. Dane trips while trying to impress Senora, injuring himself. Kazuma sets off an explosive device for no apparent reason. Bro, he's just fucking unhinged now. Hazel also sets off an explosive device for no apparent reason. What is wrong with the animal boys? Dea receives a mysterious package of Karara. It's 60 Genesis crystals. Bitch. I'm mad at Dea. Jesus Christ, the Celestial Games. 15 constellations fade from the sky. Jean, Kole, Yanfei, Albedo, Sara, Sucrose, Ether, Alhaitham, Paimon, Ganyu, Dilute, Kuki, Kave, Klee, and Etho. All dead, dude. Hazel reads a guide to Ballad before going to sleep on night five. Dea, Kazuha, and Dane sneak into the restricted section of Lisa's library. Senora falls into the abyss, but luckily manages to find a way out. Senora grows stronger because of this experience. Bro, she's gonna have three phases now. Dane explores the area with Dea. Dea. After clearing a hillish all camp together, Dea sneaks off with the supplies. Hazel watches Senora get struck by lightning and laughs. <laughs> to ashes! <laughs> <laughs> Kazuma considers becoming a whale. Kazuma's over it, dude. He's like, you know, if I'd have just fucking whaled from the beginning and got C6, this shit would be over by now. <laughs> no one died, though. No one died. Okay. Senora reads a light novel before going to sleep. Kazuma dreams of being with friends and family. Unironic question here. Does Kazu have family left? I don't think he does, right? Sorry, Kazu. 
but you're gonna have to keep dreaming, brother. Hazel gives Daya some dango milk. Dane takes shelter under Hat Guy's hat. Wait, this motherfucker stole Hat Guy's hat when he died? <laughs> what a legend, dude. <laughs> That's so funny. Hazel finds a rare holographic TCG card of Dane based. Daya beats Kazuha at a time trial challenge and wins five Primo gems. I thought that was just going to say beats him up. Senora bullies a Fatubi agent into giving her their supplies. No constellations fade again, dude. Everyone's living. Oh no. Who's going to win this, dude? Eula reads Guide to Elegance before going to sleep. Hazel huddles near a warming ceiling and dragon spine. Senora saves enough energy for her burst and uses it to kill Dane? He's got a gnosis. Well, not anymore. I guess Senora has it now. God fucking damn it. Kazuha misreads a warning label as don't dead open inside and dies after splitting open a sea Ganodoma. Oh, Kazu. Wait, dude. Okay, so there's massacres that happen in the night and then on day eight, the remaining three characters, Hazel, Dea, and Signora, just start dancing and jamming out to the poor almost theme. <laughs> Oh yeah, Dane and Kazu are dead. I'm so sorry, guys. Hazel tends to Dea's wounds and Signora is blessed with the sweetest of dreams. Dea sets off an explosive for no apparent reason while Hazel uses his powers to help Signora collect supplies. Signora gets crushed between two sumpter pieces. And then Hazel tells a joke that makes Dea die of cringe. There's no short. There is absolutely no short. Hazel wins this by making Dea die of cringe, dude. There's no short. Oh my God, he did. At the end of the war, where only one is left standing before the heaven principles on a nearly starless night celestia's new archon is revealed to be hazel from team eight that was so impressively good who was last place out of curiosity <laughs> Sino, Nahida, and Amber got prematurely ulted by fucking Tartag, dude, and just got completely wiped out. And then the top four was Hazo, Dea, Signora, and Kazu. He only needed to get one kill as well, and it wasn't even an intended kill. Holy shit, that was good. 